here I am at Brisbane Airport. It's Thursday the 7th of April 2022 and tomorrow, all being well, I leave Brisbane and I'm heading to the United States and then from there across the Atlantic to, uh, to the UK. I want to start traveling the world and see as much of it as I can. Tomorrow I make my way to the International Terminal and, uh, and leave on Air New Zealand. There's a stopover in Auckland and then from there on to Los Angeles and then I board Amtrak and travel right across the United States via Chicago to New York. I was thwarted twice. I was supposed to travel on the Coral Princess, a half world cruise from here, from Brisbane to England, but then the Australian government didn't open the you know, the, the, the ports for ships. I certainly do love Australia very much and I've unfortunately not seen enough of it and some of my travel videos have been an attempt to see more than what I, I thought I would but I feel like there's more of the world I want to see. So as crazy as it sounds is to become a full-time traveler, to see the world and to not have to clock in and clock out with a, a day job. You know, I directed my movie and all being well, that's going to get uh, some screenings at international film festivals and hopefully people will like it. So that's it really, it's no more complicated than that. I want to be a full-time traveller. And also, I have to admit, I'm not young. I'm 51 now. And when I look on YouTube and I see people who are full-time travellers, they're, they're in their 20s mostly, some in their 30s. But I'm in my early 50s, so what does that mean for me? Can I do it? Should I be doing it? I want to see what else is out there. It's my hotel, Hotel Ibis. Just leave it for them, they'll take care of it. Just got through check-in and now I'm going to head down to the Departures. Hello. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, hello. I'm a travel yeah. vlogger. <laughs> the excitement is too much for you. It's you this way, is it? Oh, yeah. oh God. <laughs> Yes. So I've checked into the hotel and that's Hollywood Boulevard right ahead of me.
你想想。Now, but I've got to go find a um, SIM card. There's a company called T-Mobile. They've apparently got some really good deals on SIM cards. There's one down here off North La Brea. Everyone here drives so fast, it's incredible. I don't know what the speed limit is here, but everyone seems to be doing whatever speed they want. So it looks like success getting a SIM card. It was a little more expensive than I thought. It was supposed to be $60, but then Dialing Australia, that's another $15, and I had to put some $10 credit on it as well. But it's unlimited download and data, and it lasts for a month, so it's not a bad deal, it's okay. And I'm passing Charlie Chaplin's studio. I thought this was much further away, but here it is. It's now, what is it, the Jim Henson Company, and there's Kermit up there. But this is, this is Chaplin's studio. I'm such a big fan of Charlie Chaplin.